Today, you will become a better editor by learning how to achieve this stabbing shot in After Effects all within a guaranteed five minutes. It is part of my programming after all, so let's speed through that intro. Now you're going to need two specific shots for this effect. First is one of the stabbing action, and the second one is the knife being held and rotated. You will want this rotation to best match the hand movement that you got from the first shot. So in After Effects, you want to take the shot of the knife, have it on top of our main footage, and find the exact point that the move begins. Split the layer at that moment by hitting Control shift d and delete the front end. Now go to where the move ends and split this moment too and delete the end. Now you will have the movement isolated. You can go ahead and name this layer knife. Hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity option and bring it down so you are now able to see both layers. LAYERS! You want to now move the clips so the hand movement matches with the knife movement. To perfect this, you can right mouse click on the knife layer, go to time, time stretch, and speed up or slow down the clip. For this particular shot, it will need to be sped up to 30. Once you are done with that, you can bring the opacity back up and pre-compose the clip, checking move all attributes to new comp and checking adjust composition duration. Now with the clip selected, hit Control D twice on the keyboard, so then you will have three knife layers. For the bottom one, go to the first frame and then go to time, freeze frame, and stretch it backwards to the point where the stab happens. And then you can go ahead and cut it off where the second layer begins. For the third layer, go to the final frame and freeze frame it, extending it forward until the knife rotation begins, and then cut the front portion off. Now go back to the second layer, duplicate it, bring it to the top, and slide it over to where you ended the third layer. And now, just like earlier, match the movement of the knife with the hand, except this time, you will want to go to time, time reverse layer, which will now play the clip in reverse, since the hand movement is opposite. Then, once the movement is perfect, you can duplicate the first layer, bring it up to the top, and slide it to the right after the fourth layer to finish our clip. Pre-compose everything, and now you will have one layer that is a perfect blade asset that can quickly be added into our shot. Congratulations for making it this far. You've earned a free unseen video clip of Austin Smith. The next thing is a rotoscope the blade using Mocha. So with the knife layer, go to Effect, Mocha AE. With the resolution at full, select the Mocha logo to open up the software. Now in Mocha, you want to take the X-Spline tool and create a shape outlining the blade. Then move through the timeline to when the first move happens, set a keyframe, and then begin to track through. You'll also want to go through and make adjustments where needed for when the shape loses the blade. After you've done this with the entire clip, save and exit. Back in After Effects with the knife layer selected, go to Matte and select Create AE Mask. You'll see that the blade is now masked out, but the edges are pretty harsh, so go ahead and hit F on the keyboard to bring up the Feather option and feather it out a bit. Then to get rid of this color spill on the edges here, you'll want to go to Effect, Keying, and select Key Cleaner. That will clean it right up. The next thing you need is tracking data, so go ahead and apply Mocha AE, this time to the main footage layer, and open up the software. Grab the x spline tool again and go to where the stab action begins. This time with the tool, draw a shape around the knife handle, tracking through the rest of the shot, making adjustments where needed to keep the shape on the handle. You can check the quality of the track by selecting the planar grid and surface and playing through the clip. If you find your track is not suitable, you may need to make adjustments to your shape and retrack through, or you may just need to make adjustments to the motion settings. For example, in this track, it doesn't need shear or perspective turned on. So with this good track, you can now save and exit. In After Effects, create a new null object and name it Track Data. Now with the main footage selected, go to the Effects Control window and hit the Tracking Data drop-down menu. Click Create Track Data and hit OK. Then change Export option to Transform and have the layer export to our null. Then go ahead and click Apply. You can see that all the tracking data is now on the null. Look at it! Look at it! Fun fact, Karen is my second cousin. You will want to make one fix though, and that is to hit S on your keyboard with the null selected and delete all the keyframes for scale. Now you can select the knife layer and parent it to the null and also turn on motion blur. Staying on the knife layer, hit P on your keyboard to bring a position and set a keyframe. Then do the same for rotation. Now go through the shot, adjusting the position and rotation of the knife where needed. After this, grab the pen tool and create a second mask on the knife layer. Set this mask to subtract, feather it out, and now hitting M on your keyboard to show mask path, set a keyframe and go through the clip again, making adjustments. Now grab the pen tool again with no layers selected this time and draw out where a shadow would be. Make sure the shadow is underneath the knife layer, then go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, uncheck Repeat Edge Pixels, and bring the blur up a bit. And once more, select the pen tool, this time toggling on Tool Creates Mask, and now on the shadow you can create a mask like this and feather it out a lot to naturally fade it out. Next, you can drop the opacity on the shadow and parent it to the null, turning on Motion Blur. And just like before, you want to go through keyframe the position of the shadow to have it perfect. Now next, you want to do the exact same thing you just did with the shadow, except now with just a faded line where the knife is coming out of the hand. Once this is complete and some color grading is done, you're left with this. Bring action scenes to stab. This is because... If you want to see how to remove fingers in After Effects, check out this video here. A human hosted, isn't that something? I'm not jealous at all about that. Anyways, ta-ta!